Cut the Rope is a casual game which was initially released for mobile devices. It's essentially a game where you have to deliver candy to the little green monster called Om Nom by cutting the ropes. Currently it has been distributed on two platforms and uh, it totally it has been downloaded more than 60 million times. It's quite successful. We had this basic concept of delivering something from point A to point B in the very beginning of the game. That's when we got the idea of uh, candy being fed to the little green monster. And that idea was absurd and uh, adorable at the same time. So we saw that it's a good way to go. We have more than 6 million play sessions every day. And we want to expand and HTML5 is just another great platform to expand to. It will bring us much more users, much more players. When Zeptolab asked us to help out with Cut the Rope, it was a natural fit. It was something that we were already interested in. We already understood how HTML5 is a great gaming platform. One of the first things that we noticed that was a concern to us was this unique physics engine. It was different than any other game that we've ever written. The process of converting the game from Objective-C to JavaScript was uh, challenging. Objective-C is object-oriented, has classes and structs, and those things just don't exist in JavaScript. We immediately began sort of uh, using some of the developer tools that are available in IE to identify where the problems were. In particular, the profile is, is perfect for benchmarking the game. It allows you to capture a session and identify the hotspots in the code. We saw some unique things. In particular, we saw that there was a lot of overhead to what we call recursion. This is the idea that code runs itself over and over and over. So it kind of drills down into itself. In a compiled language, that's no problem. You do that all the time. But it occurred to us that maybe in a language like JavaScript, you need to think about it differently. So we tried unpacking that recursion. And when we did that, we were amazed at the difference that it made. Another thing that helped was reducing the number of memory allocations. In native code, structs are relatively lightweight. And when those get translated into JavaScript objects, there can be a penalty if you have too many allocations. Reducing the number of memory allocations enabled us to get the, the performance that we needed out of the game engine and really let us recreate the same feel to the ropes and the game elements that exist in the native application. Cut the Rope has such a unique visual style and such a strong sense of design. We wanted to make sure that that feeling permeated the entire experience. The level of expectations is high, so uh, we're doing our best to fit those expectations. So we've developed uh, a set of uh, new levels that's available for Internet Explorer users. Unique levels that can be found in any other uh, of our games. And I think those, those levels are, are pretty fun. It looks cool and it plays well. We could not be happier with how the game turned out. It was awesome. We had a ton of fun building it. Uh, you can play it at cuttherope.ie. While you're at it, you should download the Internet Explorer developer preview. Back in September, Microsoft released the Windows 8 developer preview. Windows 8 is really interesting because it allows developers to take existing HTML5 apps and convert them to run as Windows 8 apps. In December, Microsoft invited developers to start experimenting with the Windows Store. With just a little bit of work, we took the existing Cut the Rope app, developed for the web, and converted it to run as a Windows 8 app. We believe that Windows 8 is a huge opportunity based on the number of people that will use the App Store, and we're really excited about it. Also, if you are a developer, we created some stuff for you. You can check it out for free right here, and um, make sure you play the game. It's a ton of fun.